Hello and welcome back. And today I have a huge, huge, huge <laughs> thing. It's uh, really in the section of uh, boat anchors. It is uh, HP. It is the 8616A. And it's a generator. And it can do from 1800 MHz to 4.5 4 MHz. And I have no clue why you need it, <laughs> but it is just cool because I wanted to test some of my frequency counters and um, just to see to go above the standard now. So uh, 1800, well, that's already a little bit high. So I like to play with my with the generator and we have a look on the frequency counter and we have a look on the spectrum analyzer and also with the USB spectrum analyzer. So uh, let's see what it does. Yeah, here is it up close. As you can see, uh, you can do the frequency setting here. I want to turn the knob because I already made a little test at it. Uh, the line, the RF, and then you could also put the external modulations and the uh, atten attenuation you can do here. So I'm just gonna connect it to to the spectrum analyzer and uh, have a look at uh, what the signal uh, looks like. Well, I hope it's all visible. Uh, here the generator, the frequency counter and the spectrum analyzer and maybe for the spectrum analyzer I need to switch off the, the light but we have a look first. I uh, have here uh, my standard BNC with SMA. I can put on the, I need N connector here. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, uh, no signal, we need to switch on the RF. That is doing that. Okay, instead of 1.8 gigahertz, it is 1.793, that's okay. Uh, I think you can see, yes. Now we're gonna look first at the spectrum analyzer because the frequent, the spectrum analyzer goes up to 2 GHz and this one starts at 1.8, so we can just see the, the start. Um, yeah. So uh, let's see. Mm, I need a longer cable for that. Uh, I should have a PNC that is longer. Okay. Let's get this one, put the end connector on it. The switch of our F. Yes, and we see signal. I try to put a lot of intensity and I will switch off the light. Okay. Um, yeah, we have a signal on the spectrum analyzer and I'm now going to change the attenuation. And as you can see, that works very well. And it says now it is This is 60 dB. Well, we go back to zero. Yeah, but my spectrum analyzer is not uh, calibrated that well because this should be zero, and as you can see, it's like five. And uh, now it's zero, and now it's actually four. So. And there is also a little fine tune you can do here because you can imagine the other wheel is kind of rough. We can do this later on the computer because I'm also really on the on the limit. I can try to go up to let's see to 1900 MHz. Let's go a little bit higher. 
let's see what is the limit 1950 2000 let's see because then uh -huh, here it is oh well, we can go a little bit higher how much now this is it okay uh, the sensitivity also dropped a little bit. Zero dB and no, okay. We can see this in the computer uh, a lot better. Yeah, I wanted to play a little bit with the frequency counter because it should go up to 3 gigahertz and I think it can do more. We are putting in 0 dBm, as you can see, so it's full level, that's good. It's 2 gigahertz. And uh, it's really getting hot here now, because the thing, and I just checked in the display, it is uh, using about 100 watts. So, of course, it will produce uh, the same amount of heat, probably. So, uh, I think you can see both, so let's turn it up, it should go up to 3, so uh, the frequency you change by changing the wheel, okay, 1600 megahertz, it's still going, no problems here, as you can see, I switched off the least uh, significant digit and also I've put it on two seconds and then it's a lot easier to read with the spaces in between but in these high frequencies uh, yeah okay let's see it should go up to three okay three it's, it's still working fine to be honest so this is what it should do it should be able to go up to three so now i wonder when it goes down 3.2 let's see mm, no problems level is still high 3.3 yeah let's go three point oh. No, it made a weird noise. I think it's switching. Uh... Okay, the level is a little bit down. 3.5. Well, it still seems to measure. But I'm not sure how stable. If it is the... Okay, now it's stable. We just need to measure a little bit faster. Okay, 3.6, yeah, now you can see the, the level is dropping a little bit, but it's still doing it. Yeah, cool. This reach you frequency counter is actually really, really good, because it's rated for 3 and I'm still going. So we can go up to four. Ah, now, now the level drops. Can we still measure? No, it's still going. It is. It is now almost uh, gone. But uh, I can put a little bit more signal. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's go to the 4.2, 4.3, no, now it lost signal.
this is the maximum of the generator and is it still counting yeah i think it's still counting no 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 it's not counting so this is really too much yeah here it goes again Yeah, so okay, so it's rated for three, and it actually goes exactly up to. <laughs> uh 4.4 because after that it just shuts off but uh, cool nice test and uh, now i like to see some some proper testing with the spectrum analyzer on the usb just to see what it looks like and uh, because this one just goes up to two so i think i will put it on uh three gigahertz and let's have a look what it will do on the computer Okay, I have here my uh, little USB uh, spectrum analyzer. Uh, I can do plus 10 dBm, so, but I will just put it to zero dBm. I need again the SMA, but with N connector, I have here B and C, so I have here. Oh. SMA, I put one of the B and C on one side, the N connector, sorry, on one side. Put that on the generator. Put that on the USB spectrum analyzer, like this. And well, as you can see, I will move the camera here. Yeah. I set the generator exactly to 3.5 gigahertz. Why it's now disconnected? Because it is. So here we go to the computer. I hope you can see. And I don't think you can. So I will need to. Yeah. Okay, switch off the light and direct it at the screen. Um, this little USB spectrum analyzer needs the the Win uh, NWT4 program. I have that here, and uh, yeah, it's just, let me zoom in a bit more. Yeah. Okay, so let's do three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, two. Four, one, two, three, mm -hmm. and then we can do a signal sweep, and there we have the signal. I will move a little bit the camera. So this is more interesting, I think. And so let's do then three. Wait. No one already took all the zeros. Yeah, it's in hertz, it's, it's a bit silly. But, and then we can do this one on three, six. Single shield. Okay, that's more clear. And then you see there are a little harmonics here and here. But uh, yeah, that is minus 60 dB, so that is. Uh, well, pretty clean, I would say. We can go a little bit. Uh, three, four, five. Make this one like five. Yeah, it's even less. Okay, so that's good. Well, and you, sh and you see, it is 
well, this is really zero dB sort of thing. It's really calibrated still very well compared to my Chinese uh, spectrum analyzer. But as you can see, it really works uh, on these high frequencies. And uh, just like you are being on the lower frequencies, these USB devices are not that bad at all. Now, uh, yeah, now let's. What I can do instead of the single shot, I will zoom in a bit, a little bit more. Four nine. Yeah, now we have a better look. Then I will do continuous, and then I will turn the. Turn the continuation. Um, so now it's just running, and I will go to 10 dB attenuation. As you can see, it goes to 10 dB, so that uh, actually works quite good. Uh, 10 dB. I just turned the wheel 20. It's now 20. As you can see, it's 20. Cool. Let's go to 50 dB. Fifty. No, wait, fifty. Okay, and then it says mine is fifty-five. Well, that could might as well be the always be device, but uh, thirty is okay. okay. Cool, and it can even put a little bit extra. I'm not to see zero dB, but I need to be careful because I can only put in. So if I do, no, nah, no, nah, it doesn't do that. I, I, well, now I'm also checking on the higher frequencies. I'm now 4.4 gigahertz, uh, and as you can see, now it starts to lose a little bit of uh, dB, it's like five. 5 dB because this would be 0 dB, 0 dB and it's not, but it could might as well be my cable or the USB device. Uh, but uh, yeah, it seems good. So let's see in the lower frequency if it goes a lot higher or not. Yeah, now I'm on uh, 1.9, and as you can see, now it, it points exactly to the zero, so it does lose some, uh, some signal in the higher frequencies. Uh, but it looks cool, it works uh, very simple. So there was a little bit of a messy test, but at least we know it's uh, working. And uh, it is really hot. <laughs> the whole room is uh, quite hot. So uh, I, I, another time I do the tear down because but I just wanted to see if it's, uh, it's working. But uh, oof, this is a heater, so... Uh, if ever my heater fails, I'm just gonna sit there and play with this thing. But uh, it's cool. I, I, I still need to find out how old it is. Uh, it just came in uh, yesterday. And uh, yeah, I like to see also that my equipment works in the higher frequencies. That is uh, why I thought it would be interesting. So uh, better than uh, will, uh, will come in the cleanup and everything because it 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 looks it, it is in good condition, but uh, yeah, I really can have some uh, cleaning, and then I will just uh, put it there. I have some uh, other you also didn't see. I have an older uh, HP generator right there, and uh, that will also be clean. So that that will be my uh, my boat anchors will be, come there. Uh, but it's farther away from the desk, so I need to think of uh, how to, to put the cables because, yeah, this is just uh, temporary on a little stool. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.